welcome to my channel, Linda's 144 Hobbies. Uh, yeah, today we're not going to talk about any crafting, no cross stitching, no diamond painting. Today it's all about hiking gear. Uh, I have for a very long time uh, wanted to make a pot cozy. And it took me some time to get the materials to to make one of these and then I just haven't gotten to do one um, but I decided today is the day so what's the pot cozy it's a yeah it's kind of a, a pouch maybe uh, where you put your um, cooking pot or mug in to to keep it you know to keep the heat and um, and of course you save fuel uh, because it keeps the water um, warm for a longer time when you use a pot cozy and of course also it protects you your hands from the heat when you pull the pot away from the fire or the stove uh, then you can put it into the cozy and you won't burn your hands yes so i have this grease pot i bought from amazon and i have some stuff in it which i don't need now a lid and a pot And I have some uh, reflection tape and some isolation reflection. I think it's the same material as uh, these things you use for your windshield on your car uh, for protecting, protecting it against ice. And you need scissors and a permanent marker. So I have my sheet here with some instructions. Um, the way to make this one, I have learned or I watched um, Dixie on one Homemade Wanderlust, her hiking channel on YouTube, go check her out. Uh, she has made a video on how to make the pot cozy and that is the way I'm gonna to try to make one. Let's see. I'm going to measure out the bottom and the lid. So this is the first time I'm trying. This might not work out, but let's try. And when I'm cutting and stuff, you know, I will just fast forward so you don't have to watch that. I just marked uh, this one as the bottom and the other one as the top. I don't know if there is a difference, but I guess there is a little one since the lid is going on top of the pot. step is to measure out um, the side let's see where you can see from the camera like 
yeah, the one, the part which is going to go around the pot. And did she mention something about that uh, the sides shouldn't go just all the way up to the um, oh, to the end of the pot here um, because there would be some problem when you pour stuff out that it would go in between the pot and the cozy. So she recommended that you leave like a small space between the cozy and um, yeah the end of the pot. So let's see the instructions, I think. Uh, mark bottom hour. I'm just gonna skip. All right. I think. as well, of course. I will go get that. Okay, don't laugh. I couldn't find anything smaller, so. So you should be getting this straight, right? Um, sides shouldn't be too tight because then you won't be able to get you know put your pot in the cozy or take it out so I think that was kind of important that you don't make it too tight I think that's perfect okay and I think the next step is to make the sides for the lid and that's because I wanted to have an overlap. Like the lid is overlapping the edges of the pot. So I want the same thing with the cozy. And I will measure out uh, the sides for the lid the same way as I did on the sides. Where it's gonna end, so it needs to be, I guess, it is the how long it's gonna be that's more important here. So make it a little bit longer, and we'll get my small ruler again. And I'm thinking. You can always cut it smaller, so it's better to make it bigger and then you can cut off whatever you wish. So 
gonna be enough. Yeah, let's go for that. I have plenty of materials. I can always, you know, do it again. Always nice to have some coffee for it. gonna assemble these things together uh, didn't I mark this yes that's the top and this is the bottom right so maybe I should put this together first That's quite a nice size. So tape is very sticky which is good I guess going to make a hole in the top for the knob and uh, since the knob is plastic uh, if you're gonna make food or cook on open fire um, you need to 
switch this out to something else in metal. This would be easier with a with a, a knife, a scalpel, or something. Yeah. I guess this is okay. Let's do a test. So I might I think this might be um, too big. We'll try. We'll go for that. Let's not cut anything off. So I'm just going to cut some pieces of the tape. So I'm just ready to um, put this together. So I don't have to, you know, cut a piece, tape, cut a piece, tape. Okay, um, let's see if I can do this. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of it. That was the lid. Um, it's quite okay. Perfect. So, and we have some uh, raw edges around here, and I'm gonna secure them as well uh, on both of, the, of these two with some more tape. After I put on uh, the tape on the edges, uh, it feels as if the cozy is a bit tight. Oops. 
So I'm gonna try to see if um, it was the big pieces that you know made everything tighter. Um, so now I'm trying to fix the raw edges with smaller pieces, pieces, and maybe uh, that will give a better result. This is my cozy, all done. It looks easier when someone else is doing it. Um, here's the, the space between the cozy and the edge of the pot. Um, yeah, so I kind of tore it apart um, when I tried to make it a bit wider, uh, but I just fixed it with some more tape. Uh, so now I think um, the pot is, or the cozy is quite okay. Um, so in my mind, if uh, the water is boiling, I need to grab these. That's what I do anyways, and get my pot. So I need to put it down in the cozy. Yeah, I think that's doable. Um, maybe a little bit tight, but maybe um, when using it, it will, you know, get worn and a bit wider. But hey, it was the first one I ever made, so I'm happy with that. And this tape, that sticky business is sticking to the scissors, so it gets harder and harder to cut them. So now I need to clean everything. So yeah. That's my pot cozy. The way Dixie makes them. So if you have any questions, uh, pre please leave a, a comment down below. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe because then I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.